Employers can now sponsor overseas aged care workers in Australia. Welcome back to another video in which we'll talk about what's new for aged care workers in Australia. And what are the requirements to work in Australia's aged care sector? So, keep watching to learn more. Before we start don't forget to join our Facebook group, with more than 15,000 members to share your thoughts with. You'll find the link in the description box or pinned comment below. Now, let's kick off the video, the Aged Care Industry Labour Agreement ASILA, will streamline the recruitment process of overseas elderly care workers for Australia's aged care industry. Needless to say, it could prove to be a pivotal solution for the country's sector, which has been facing the issue of labour shortages for a very long time. So, what's new for aged care workers in Australia? The announcement of the agreement came on 5 May 2023 when Alex Hawke, the Minister for Immigration, Citizenship, Migrant Services, and Multicultural Affairs, publicly talked about expanding the Aged Care Industry Labour Agreement. Don't forget four new roles have been added to an already broader spectrum of occupations as a result of this extension. They include the following. Personal care assistants. Nursing support workers. Aged or disabled carers. And therapy aides. What's interesting to note here is that an applicant who is qualified and has enough work experience in the aged care industry back home can seek sponsorship on the TSS 482 visa and apply to work in any aged care center as long as it falls under a labor agreement. It should be noted that this visa has a validity period of four years. However, if the worker is under 45 after two years and holds a certificate three qualification in aged care, they can be nominated for a permanent employer visa subclass 186 by their employer. Consequently, they would become eligible for a permanent visa within two years. On the other hand, a visa applicant with zero qualifications and work experience in the aged care sector can apply for a student visa to study English and aged care in Australia. They can start working in an aged care centre and seek sponsorship on their TSS 482 visa after acquiring the minimum qualification or work experience equivalent to 12 months full-time in Australia's aged care industry. In case you are wondering, this visa remains valid for four years, but the employer can nominate the worker for a permanent employer visa subclass 186 if they are under 45 and hold a Certificate 3 qualification in aged care after two years. As with the situation we discussed earlier, the applicant could become eligible for a permanent visa in four years. So, what are the requirements to work in Australia's aged care industry? For starters, you need an Australian Certificate 3 in aged care or a minimum full-time work experience of 12 months. You may also try your luck if you have experience working as a part-time aged care worker in Australia for 24 months. Don't forget, You'll have to obtain a skills assessment if you have experience and qualifications to work in this industry from another country. Furthermore, you need an IELTS score of 5 to prove your minimum English proficiency. In addition to this, you also need a job offer from an Australian aged care centre that falls under a labour agreement. The recent and upcoming changes to the aged care industry labour agreement have given hope to Australian businesses who believe all of it would make recruitment of overseas aged care workers exceedingly efficient. It would ultimately help overcome the problem of labour shortages in the aged care sector. We have reached the end of today's video update. Like, share and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. Thanks for watching.